Well, that wasn't a very good video, was it? I wonder why it froze up. Well, I did turn it off, but I used to be able to turn the turn it off and turn it back on again, and it would work. But apparently, you just got the audio. I, I tried listening to it. It tried watching it. it. Didn't work out very well on that video. So we'll we'll just call this uh, uh, a do over, kind of. I guess. Uh, I I really wanted you to see some of these things, even though you know they're not they're not real big. I wanted I wanted you to see the stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna redo the stuff. It's not gonna be in the same order as the other video, but you, hopefully you didn't watch all that just to listen. And you didn't see the stuff. I guess I'll start with. I, I, it's all kind of. It's not. It's not in the bags anymore, so I can't really do the bag thing. I can tell you the like the stuff that I got from Niche. I'll do that first. I'll do the stuff I got from Niche, and then I'll do the stuff I got from Goodwill. How's that? That's what I'll do. Okay. So the stuff I got from the Niche. I'll just start with the first thing I told you. I already told you it's just copper. I mean, you know, it's copper, so you can. If you want to sell scrap copper on eBay, you can sell scrap copper on eBay. That's that's that. So, all right, pick this up. Oh, and I don't need to show you cannon jars. So there's the two cannon jars that I got at the niche. I don't, they're just regular clear cannon jars, nothing special. So, okay, all right. So here's that that you saw that you hear me talk about this. Maybe I don't know, but uh, if you're not watching this video from the other video. So you, maybe you didn't really know what I said. So I, I buy cannon jars when I get them really cheap, like in a bag sale, like a five dollar bag sale. I'll get the cannon jars, and then, and then come you know cannon cannon season, you know I'll sell them on Facebook or at the shop, you know by the dozen. So anyway, this is uh just a Coleman lantern thing. It, it was in the five dollar bag thing. So uh, I. I think I looked these up, and they're, they're not that great. Maybe like eight, ten bucks or something like that. Maybe not even quite that. So we'll see, but we'll see. But right now, I mean, with the way things are on eBay for me right now, things are very slow. <laughs> very slow. So I'll take any sales I can get. All right. So then here's those the Kentucky Derby glasses I was talking about. They're this is from this year, from nineteen, from twenty, nineteen, from nineteen, no, from from twenty nineteen, and uh, yeah, so I got two of those, so uh, you can see the same, just the same thing. Like I said in the other video, uh, maybe I'm turning into a collector of those. I don't. Know. Usually, I sell most of them. I, I I sell them pretty pretty quickly. So, no, uh, I don't want to say quickly, but regularly, I, I do sell them. You know. When I when I have them, so here are those those pink hazel atlas uh, cups and saucers that I that I talked about. Now you can see them. They are not. I want to think they're they're crinoline, but the, the crinoline isn't the right word. But they are. They were made by hazel atlas, but crinoline is not the correct word. Um. And the modern tone, modern tone is something else you could, you could, another word you could use to look them up. So you could see that if I'd have found them at the yard sale, I probably could have got them for a quarter. But I probably actually got them for about that anyway, when you, when you figure out. Because the, each one was labeled, so the, 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 uh, these things had stickers on them too. So if they were a quarter and they were a quarter, that's just a cents a piece. That would be, uh. One, two, there's one, two, three, there's four bucks right there. So I, I got them cheaper getting them at the niche and the five dollar bag sale. So, all right, so that's, uh, that's those. All right, then there was this cute Noritake, um, cup and saucer that, you know, like I told you about. They don't really, this pattern, I'm not pattern, but this style doesn't sell that great at the shop, but, uh, I just think it's neat. I didn't look them up. I don't know what that... There you go. You can see that a little better that way. Little pink... Uh, I, I don't know what the name of that kind of type of flower is. I used to, but I can't think of it right now. So there you can see that. And then there I, there was this thing, which was in there. So, again, it was a $5 bag sale. So this actually... I mean, it, it obviously was used, but it's it's really... 
it's very good shape. You can look that model number up. You can see the model number there. You can look that up and see if it's any good. I don't know if it is. I didn't look it up. I just grabbed it because it's five bucks a bag. You know, worst worst case scenario, I throw it in the in the scrap bucket for the for the scrapper kid. So, all right. And then here's this jigger. So uh, there's you can see that blue blue banner tools. I think that I don't know. The, it's got it's got flathead screws in the end. I don't think they still do. They don't. I don't know if it's old or not. I, I don't know. Um, but again, that's the same deal. I mean, if if I can't get anything for it, I can always throw it in the scrap metal bucket for the scrapper kid. All right, and then this is this is those jar rubbers that I talked about. This is these are the wide mouth ones. These are the good luck regular size ones right there there was five boxes all together I'm gonna try to get this done quicker than an hour so excuse me if I go too fast I apologize but it took me an hour last night and then I didn't even have the video so um, yes and then there's this this bowl the green depression bowl you can see the pattern there hopefully I don't know if you know the pattern. Let me know. And then it's got the little like like jewelry things on the bottom. I don't think it's old. It doesn't feel old, but um, and there's no maker's mark on it. So, but that's that doesn't really mean much. So, all right. And then there's, there's that little little Pyrex bowl I mentioned. It's just a little a little clear Pyrex bowl, but the lids for these actually. At least for the ones that I was looking at the other day actually sell pretty well. So I didn't get any lids with this one, but I did look it up. So, all right, here's that cool hex sign. You probably did see that in the other video. The uh, It's got the Zook name on there. So uh, those usually I sell those at the shop, and I, I do all right with them. I mean, not, not a whole lot of money, but... And then, I don't know if you saw the sneaker or not. I don't think so. There's the sneaker... I don't think you did see the, any of this niche stuff. So it's a uh, it's a bank. You can see that. I don't know. I think it. I think it looks like an Adidas, but I don't. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. And then this is this is just the uh, the Brinking Cotton uh, C clamp that I mentioned. Doesn't does it have a number on it? No. US, yeah, yeah. Number one forty two. Number one forty two. So. Welcome to look that up and tell me what uh, your what you found out about. It. Okay, so that was that stuff, right. and then there was also. Let's see, let's put this back down here. There's those two cannon jars. Um, yeah, just like I said, a pack of staples I picked up, you know, for the shop. And these, uh, what do you call them, uh, pegboard, uh, the pegboard hooks, grab those for the shop too, so they came in the $5 bag, and that was that, that's it for the $5 bag, now, the hard part is going to be pulling that stuff out of here from my multiple Goodwill shopping excursions over the last week, um, they actually, there's actually, today's, uh, today Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. Today's a half off day on books at Goodwill, at my Goodwills. I know the one in Mansfield has some books that I kind of wanted, but I'm not going to drive over there just for those books. So, uh, I, don't, I didn't want them that much. So we'll, uh, I'll start with, I'll start with this stuff, with these. I got these. The Corel Frost White. Uh, the white, whatever it is, uh, divided things. They were a buck a piece. I have eight of them, and uh, I think I should be able. To, I should be able. To, I'm pretty sure I should be able to get like 50 bucks for them. I don't remember exactly, but uh, I'll list them for that in either case and see what happens. So this is the little singer box I was talking about that I paid. I paid two bucks for. I was talking about in the other video. I don't know if the little box is worth anything, but I'll show you what is. This is probably going to be worth this little piece. See, it's 
you can see on there see it's got it's marked it's marked singer so that's probably i don't know five to ten ten bucks this is going to be five to ten bucks this little piece here and this 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 little piece here is again this is marked as well it's got the singer mark on it right there and that's going to be five to ten bucks there so I'm looking at fifteen to fifteen to thirty dollars on those, and then there's a bunch. There's a bunch of other little pieces in here, but they're not marked. Like there's there's one, this thing. They're not marked singer, so I, I, I don't. There's a couple of these, and, and again, they they're not marked singer, so I can't I I can't really sell them as singer. And if they're not singer, they're just not. So there's a couple other little pieces. Look at this thing. What is this? Look at this needle. Ouch. Ouch. Are you afraid of needles? Ouch. Ouch. Okay. So yeah. So hopefully I'll get the top end on all those and make 30 bucks. But I'd be okay with 15 too. So. Alright. So that's that thing. Alright. You missed the Dyson parts. They didn't show up in the video I guess. So. Here's this thing. I don't know what this is. You know, I don't. I don't know. Um, they do have a. There is a model number, not a model, number, but a part number down inside here on this. And the other pieces seem to have part numbers as well. So I should be able to. I should be able to find out what they were. I paid a buck for this whole bag of whole bag of Dyson parts. So this is a some kind of a little power power nozzle head head thing in there. It never got used. Um, this is a crevice tool. That's, that's, that's easy. Should be eight, ten dollars for that. And I don't know what this piece is. I'll look it up and find out. And then there's the power adapter. Power adapter for a Dyson. I don't even know what the heck that's for. I never even heard of doing that. So, I don't, I don't know what that's for. A little power must be something. I don't, I don't, maybe this is, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it's for. I'll find out when I look it up. But I should—I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at that, and I'm—I'm—I'm I'm, I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking it, at least, at least thirty bucks for for the parts. You know, I'll—I'll I'll break them up probably and sell them separately. So there should be at least thirty bucks there. So. All right, and then this thing—this was ten bucks. I, I bought this. I don't know if you saw it in the other video or not. It's a lipper. Three quart glass rectangular casserole with teak wood cradle, and I didn't find any anything on eBay for this. I paid ten for it. I didn't find anything on eBay uh, like this, but I did find the same company, but a different a different type. And they were like, I don't know. I think they were twenty five, thirty bucks, something like that. So I don't know what this is going to be, but but uh, yeah, I'd be good if I just doubled my money on it. So. Plus shipping. I may just take it to the shop if that's all it is, and see if I can make some money there. No fees, no shipping. Now that stuff. So next, here's the little brass eggs. Little brass eggs. I paid 79 cents each. They pop open, and there is a salt and pepper shaker inside these. So now you know. Little brass gadgets. This this is the Yankee Candle Yankee Candle votive. There it is, Yankee Candle. It's a little dirty inside. I can clean it up, but uh, it's cute, kind of ivory color. I don't know if it's any good or not, but hey, you know, unless you know, unless there's a hundred of them on eBay, I, you know, I'll put it, I'll put it on there and put twelve, fifteen dollars on it and see what happens. It's Yankee Candle. You never know. All right. This is another piece. This is another piece of the, the, the modern tone. Same pink color and same style, but I, instead of getting it at the niche, I got it at the Goodwill. And this was 79 cents. It's a little creamer. I didn't see anything, any of them like this particular one online. I did look it up a little bit last night. But uh, after I did the video, I thought the other video was good. And turns out it wasn't. So, all right. Here's your little Ninja Turtle thing. Little sandwich container. And uh, that's what it says a buck on it, but yellow was half price when I bought this, so it was 50 cents. 
it's new in the pack and uh, worst case scenario I'll, I'll get a couple bucks worth of shop I didn't look it up at all because I just grabbed it because people do buy stuff like that so this is that Nintendo Nintendo adapter that I that I, this was a dollar twenty nine for this adapter oh there we go little square one it says Nintendo on it there I, I don't know here's the I don't know what it's for I suppose I'll find out when I look it up I don't know what it's for. Doesn't look like any that I know, but who knows? I'm thinking it's uh, it's it's for something like a Switch or something like that, a Nintendo Switch, I think, but I don't know. And then here's that that wall cover I was talking about, a little electrical outlet cover, and they actually that sells. They do sell them online. They do sell them on eBay, so not for a lot of money, but. They sell, so. Alright, here's the Welcome Friends sign. I don't know if you saw that, but there it is. And I talked about that. I'll probably just put that at the shop for 15 bucks. I paid three, so. And uh, I'll put it for 15 bucks because I don't really want to sell it. But if I do sell it, cool. Um, but I don't really want to. Uh, okay, what what's next? All right, here's that Pyrex bowl I was talking about. I'm pretty sure that's gonna just go. That's just gonna go in our cabinet downstairs. So, pretty sure that's where that's gonna go. So I'm gonna set that up there. Set that as, set that aside. And how much? Well, that was 79 cents for that. This is the toothbrush I was talking about. It was. This was actually. This was. A, this was actually at the niche. It was a different day. It was at the niche. And I bought a bag of stuff that she only charged me five bucks for the bag. It, was, it wasn't a five dollar bag sale, but she only charged me five bucks for the bag. So this is one of the things that was in it. I don't know what else was in it. But they had four on it, but they charged me five for the bag. So, And there was other stuff in the bag, but I can't remember what. But we'll, I suppose we'll see it. I'm just gonna set this down here. So that that should that should be that, I should do okay with that. I don't know. You can look it up because you just saw what it was, so you can look it up and there. Is there a model number on here for you? Braun Oral B. There. Yeah, not so much. Yeah, not so much. Okay, huh? All right, and then there was these things that I got at my neighbor's closet, food savers, and it was four bucks for the whole, for the lot. So, um, I, I'm thinking that I should, I should be able to get twenty, thirty bucks for that. So, I hope. Between the two. And then, this is that Fire King Peach Luster plate. I, I don't think this stuff actually sells, but I just, I'll just i just put it in the basement in my collection of someday these will sell items. And they used to sell. I used to sell a lot of these. They're actually, you don't really find them that much. I think there's a lot of people just gathering them up, so I don't really find them very often. Except when they're overpriced. Then I find them, but I don't want them. <laughs> so this was only a buck, so that's my investment for the future. Next, got this at uh, my neighbor's closet. It was a dollar. And like I said on the other video, if you look at the Pyrex symbol there on the bottom, right above the R, it has a dollar sign. Uh, go ahead and look those up for yourself. Um, Pyrex dollar sign, and you'll see. So, alright, so there's that. And then, here's the little pink, the little pink Boonton wear cups that I'm gonna, I don't know, I'll, I'll just put them on eBay and sell them. I paid 79 cents a piece for them, so, you know, I may just put them downstairs and wait till I find some saucers. Because you never know. The saucers may be there tomorrow. You never know. 
All right, so now I'm making a big mess down here. Let's see, these things, I'm gonna take these over to the shop. They were two bucks. I paid $1.99 for these. They are cast iron wall hooks. They hang on the wall, you can see that. Made in 2004. I didn't mean to flip you off right there. It was an accident. I had my middle finger up, but on purpose. <laughs> uh, THT, 2004 THT. Uh, I don't know what that means, THT. Do you? I don't know, but they're they're metal, so they're not old or nothing, but they're sort of a neat cast iron decor. All right. There's that, and then there's this little ashtray I was talking about, little amber-colored ashtray. The bigger ones, these, some of these you can de get decent money for. I paid a buck and a half for that. It's on sale. Uh, it's half price, but somehow I didn't notice the the scratch. I didn't notice the. Let's see if you can notice it. Yeah, there it is. See it? There, there's a good shot of it. Right, right here. Right there is a scratch. I don't know if I can buff that out. I don't think so. I think I'm making it just more noticeable. Oh well, I'll just take a good picture of it and put it on, on eBay and people can see it. And if they want it, they want it. If they don't, they don't. Alright, I don't know if you could, if you saw this either. Uh, it is a Gillette. Was it Gillette? Yeah, Gillette. Look, in the USA... In USA, and it has. Uh, I don't know if you saw this. Here we go with the deja vu thing. Little atomic stars on there. Should be good, unless there's like a massive amount of them. In which case, it won't be good. There's the nice Gillette thing in there. I, this time, I'm not going to play with the razor and cut my finger. I didn't actually cut it. Okay. That. And then my favorite little these were uh, these were at the niche. And they were in that bag of stuff that wasn't the five dollar bag, but it was five dollars. But it wasn't the, the five dollar bag. So you know, I love these. So hopefully, you know, I'll list them for you know twelve, fifteen bucks or whatever, and and maybe I'll get it. Maybe you never know. I I do I do sell them. You guys know I sell them for fourteen ninety five. You know that I do. You know, sometimes people offer me less and I take it. You know, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I take it. I don't always take it if they offer me too little, too less. And then these are those little shot glasses I was talking about. With the... I couldn't find any of them quite like this online, but I did find the little grape stuff. And they seemed like they might be pretty good. So for two bucks I took a shot. But yeah, you, I didn't get to show you. You didn't see it, but... See, there's, there's, right there, there's a white, right there, there's a white line, like from calcium or something, and I don't know how to get it off. If you know how to get it off, let me know. Alright. So that's those. Alright. Here's that granite ware spoon I was telling you about. I paid 50 cents for it. I'll take it over to the, I'll just, that's just gonna go to the shop. And, uh. So I'll put a few bucks on it. Just get a couple extra bucks out of it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it for all it's worth. Here's the eggs. One of the eggs. This is the uh, the Noritake egg from 1972. Easter 1972. It's got the the lilies on there. And like I said, it I don't it it has a thing you can open that up, but there's it's not a shaker, so it's not a shaker. So, but I paid 79 cents for it. I didn't look them up because it's, it's just an egg. It's cool. This is the hummingbird egg from the the egg lady. I don't know if you can see that here. The egg lady. It's upside down, but it says the egg lady on there. Uh, there's no date. But it's a hummingbird. It's an egg. And uh, now that was a buck 29, so... But they will. I think they'll. Well, this 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 should sell for sure. So uh, again, I, I'm not I'm not gonna name prices of what I really too awful much. But I I should think 
that's probably I don't know I, I'm not gonna guess I, I did look it up when I was there but I don't remember so but it wasn't great but I thought I'm uh, I bought it anyway all right and then there's those three plastic composer bus I was telling you about I've sold these before in a lot I had a lot of them these I paid 79 cents for and uh, they did they did all right I don't know how they do single like this though so I don't know if I'll, I'll maybe I'll just put them together and try to try to get what I can out of them but I did sell them before but I can't remember how much here's this gadget oh this is just a cookie press and I these I usually sell these I'm pretty sure like ten or fifteen dollars so I paid a dollar twenty nine for it so but usually when I list them I have to wait because there's a lot of people selling them cheaper cheaper less expensive so they sell them less expensive and and then when theirs are gone somebody buys mine or or they buy mine because theirs are too cheap and and they buy mine because they think mine's better than the cheap ones are I don't know okay and then there's this, I gotta go through all these cookie cutters again here's the turkey gobble 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 remember that to see and say this is a turkey gobble 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 <laughs> here's a here's here's a gingerbread man he does not make any noise but he does run very fast and from time to time he falls in a milk puddle it happens poor gingerbread boy all right and then there's a little horse cookie cutter i think it's a horse and uh and i won't put a lot on these you know 50 cents a buck you know something like that depending on what they are little star but i paid i think it was two bucks for the whole bag so um but they'll go over to the shop oh, and people will buy them a little bit here and there and here and there there's a snowman one there's a little copper colored bell the one with the little round one with the red with the red that probably be the best one of the bunch but, you know, I'm, i don't know i'll put two three bucks on that one that, that one should pay for the, the whole bag and then the rest of them is just what it is. There's Sandy Claus. There's another little cookie. Oh. There's a heart. Bunny rabbit. Christmas tree. Tannenbaum. And that's a... I want to say chicken. I think it's a chicken, but maybe not. All right. And then the same bag that had those cookie cutters in it. See, it was a buck ninety-nine on there. It had a bunch of plastic ones. I'll I'll take those over to the shop too. They they somebody was they were selling those before for they weren't getting they were getting a little bit for them. So I'll, I'll just put them over there for I don't know quarter each or whatever. I don't know. Make them go away. And there's the Tupperware. I, I do, I am the guy that does buy the Tupperware at the Goodwill. That is me. Um, and I put it into, into containers in the basement for the day when I sell. But no, sometimes, like I, I said in the other video, I, I, I usually have, I have some pieces. If I have like this, I don't want to sell alone. So, I probably have another one of these in one of those tubs in the basement so I'll throw it in the tub and then someday I'll get them all all the tubs out and I'll organize them and and I'll start listing Tupperware on eBay and they'll go away someday someday all right and then there's the wire basket that was 99 cents and I like it but I'm gonna take it to the shop and I don't know I'm it's neat I, I think I'm gonna put 
I think I'm going to put $8.99 on it. See what happens. I bet you they paid more for that when they bought it new. Maybe I'll put more on it. Nah, eight nine nine sounds good. Okay, and then in case you didn't see him, I think you did see him though, but in case you didn't see him before, here's the cat. Here's the cat. And there's the thing and see he's got a hole in his where his mouth is there. I suppose you could put I don't think that hole is big enough though. But I, I suppose you could put I'm thinking you have tea in here and little don't they have like tea crackers or tea cookies or something? Some isn't there like a thing with tea and crackers or something like that? I like the idea of tea. Cookies better, but um I, I think there is. So anyway he's gonna go over to the shop. He's very very cat. He's a cat. He's a cat. So, and he does have a little crazing here. It's not old, but he has got some crazing. I don't think he's old. I don't know. It, I guess old is relative. I mean, it could be old if it was 20 years old. And if he's 20 years old, that's only, that's only 1999. So, so uh, maybe he partied a little since then. But I don't know if he is 20 years old. Okay, and then we have, and this is the Pampered Chef cookie press. I don't know if you saw it or not. I paid three bucks for it. It's got all the gadgets in there. So I'll have to take it out. And I'm, oh, I did have all. There's one missing. Where's that one? I bet you it's in the cookie press. No, I don't think it is. I thought all the gadgets were in there. Maybe it fell, maybe it, ah, oh, bummer, wait, let's just see, here's this, no, it's definitely not, it's definitely not in there, no, it's, it's not in here, there's one missing, on it, I didn't even, how did I not notice that that, that that's not there? How did I not see that? That there's one missing. I guess because I didn't want to. I didn't want to see it. So. Yes. So. I managed to get that done. We're done. I, I, that's it. That, that's all the stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So. I got it done a lot quicker. Uh, half an hour instead of an hour. Talked a lot less. So, okay, hopefully this time when I upload it, it works. We'll see. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and I do apologize that the other one didn't work out. I should have, I should have, uh, I should have checked it more quickly and not wasted your time. But, all right, I'm going to go so I can upload this and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.